Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft 21 week 15A. This update is kind of cool, kind of not cool. So in front of me I have the most exciting part of this whole thing. And that's, uh, well, new textures. I don't quite like the textures. Um, mainly because they're too similar now. It feels to me like this is all the same texture that's over and over again. But if you look at it, there are slight differences. It has four pixels on the top. This has three. This has three. Uh, like, they're all unique, kind of, but they're also very similar. Uh, but then we have the best part, box of raw, raw materials. So use a crafting table. You can use nine of them. And now basically for years, it's kind of been like now Shulkers did a really good job at solving this problem. Uh, but early game, this will now solve that problem of inventory space management. Because it was always really hard to go mining. Because uh, you always end up running out of space. So this is a welcome change. Uh, you cannot smith uh, or smelt these blocks. I've already checked that. It does not work. The next big part is some updates to goats and their pathfinding. So I'll place a couple in the middle here and they'll walk all the way around this loop. They will not touch powdered snow. They don't like it. So if I go like that, now there's like, they don't know what to do. I'm just gonna... Confused. And I break that. Eventually, he'll just walk on out. All is good again. Uh, moving on, I'm doing this kind of quick. I don't got a lot of time today. Uh, goats will ram anything that moves. This is not true as far as I can see. I go. Even hitting it, it is not interested whatsoever. So that update part did not work out. Reapers are apparently scared of them. They don't look too scared uh, to me. Uh, um, bone meal has a updated sound. So let's grab the bone meal and make sure the volume is super high so this comes through nice and clear. Nice, it kind of similar to a sound in most like first person shooters if you're crawling through grass. But the sound would be like, yeah, without the breaking in between. Um, let's see what else is new. So for the most part, what they changed were they added some debug functionality. Um, and uh, change things around in the creative uh, menu. So they're kind of cleaning it up, making it easier to find stuff, I guess, is what, what they're doing. Um, but we are going to move on. Look at something else real quick. First off, why not show this? The... Uh, background or backdrop has changed as is normal for updates or what is now normal uh, to show a sneak preview of the update. Um, I would show you all of this, but I'll let you find out the rest to keep it a little surprising. Now, moving on, we have my old worlds. Of uh, testing world, a redstone world and my survive and thrive series. Now, Basically, you cannot load a world with extended height because they rolled back those updates or more accurately, they disabled those features of the update. So the cave generation, basically the last five or so snapshots that have been working on this, uh, maybe even more, 
uh, basically got rolled back to remove a bunch of those features. Uh, and they want to do a smoother transition into it, and they split the caves and cliffs update into two things, the caves and the cliffs. I'm assuming that's what they mean by that. However, all is not lost. I may not be able to load this world, but on the create world, there is a button that says data packs. It may have been there before. It may not have been there before. I don't know, but you can click on it and click open new folder and now let me just pop this up. So we have this nice new uh, folder here and I'm just going to go and find my on another screen here. Sorry. So I have dropped in here the Caves and Cliffs preview. It's a data pack that is found on the uh, on the update, and you can find it right about here. This Minecraft.net, their blog post on it. Um. Any world you create will be flagged with it. And you cannot add data packs that change world generation to existing worlds. So you must create a new world. See these experimental features. Now, I had already seen, uh, specifically on Exuma's uh, being there, and I was trying to figure this out for myself, that when you add this in here, so I can create a new world. That's great. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'll give you this whole thing. You know, do not continue if you don't want your world to possibly get corrupt. But this is a new world. Now, it looked like he was able to load his old worlds. And I don't quite understand how. Now I do use, uh, but multi Minecraft launcher. So I'll just, uh, jump into spectator mode, go underground. Uh, it's extremely dark, but you can kind of see that the world is deep, deep again. Yeah. So we're at, uh, Negative 18. So yeah, world height is back to normal or not normal, but what it's going to be, what's normal for me because I've been playing on these updates. However, I cannot figure out how to get, uh, I save quit and this world is now like this. All right. I quit game and relaunch and it is still loadable. However, my old worlds are not loadable and I'm not even able to select them. So I'm going to see if the traditional Minecraft launcher will work with this. I'm having some doubts, but I'll see. So unfortunately, what should work does not appear to work. So you'd go into your saves choose the specific save then go and do data packs and then drop it in there. I tried a couple things like extracting it. Uh, so the folder or the world should have that data pack on it. But when you go onto the game, it still uh, does not work. So but I think that will sum up this day's episode or this this week's snapshot. Uh, the ore I'm super excited for. Unfortunately, I won't get to play with that for a while because my Let's Play series is going to kind of pause on 21 week 14A, I guess. Because um, if I were to change my world now, I would end up losing like 
half a cactus farm, an entire mob farm. Quite a bit of stuff. It would... Yeah, like if I were to update to a lower resolution, which I can't, or not lower, a smaller world height, which you can't even do. Uh, so I'm basically stuck uh, on this update for a while, and I could quit restart. And yeah, get the update naturally, I guess. But... We're already like 15 episodes in, 16 episodes. That's so kind of be kind of lame to just abruptly end and restart. So I think I'll just keep on the snapshot if I end up having to restart later on. Whatever. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week. And if you're interested in checking out my Minecraft Let's Play series every Tuesday and Friday, there's a new episode. And I'd uh, like to see you around. Hey, you're still here. Must just be us. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe. It's free. New videos every Tuesday and Friday. Top video is recent. Bottom one. YouTube knows what you want. I've been Sorrow. Keep in touch. And I'll see you around.